I want to move with alacrity and speed, but I will not compromise the word of God. So mm -hmm. I spend a few minutes to speak with you about something that is very precious to God. And that is your character. Amen. Your character and God's law. Amen. So bow your heads as we pray. Lord, speak to me as I speak to your people. Let them hear your words. Suppress my own thoughts. Let my will be put aside. Let your will be done, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Good to see you, friends. Good to see you. Over 4,000 years ago, follow me now. Over 4,000 years ago, much longer than any of us can even recall, men became so wicked that the wickedness of men reached up to God. Yes. And God said, I cannot tolerate them. It, it repented me that I made man. In the book of Genesis, what book did I say? Genesis. Genesis chapter 6, the story is recorded. God became so angry that he said that he would send a flood. But God will not destroy unless he gives a warning. Amen. And so he called a man by the name of Noah. The Bible says that Noah found grace. found grace in the eyes of God. Amen. And so he called Noah and he said, Noah, I'm going to send a flood. I want you to build a boat. Make it this size, put windows here and there. And then when you're finished, you're going to call folks to come to the ark. And the animals too, because God loves animals. And, you know, the folks did not believe Noah. Hmm. They did Noah preach for how many years? 120. 100. And 20 years, Noah preached. And only... Only Noah's family, family his it's sons, immediate. his own wife, and his son's wife, eight of them, I believe, were saved in the ark of the thousands of people. And today we are faced with the same challenge. Yes. The wickedness of men has reached up to God in heaven. But God says, He's not going to destroy the world with water again, fire next He's going to use fire. And there is evidence in the Bible that God used fire to destroy some cities, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. Just about 500 years or so after the flood, there were some cities that were very wicked, Sodom and Gomorrah. And God warned them to Abraham, but they did not listen. He sent angels to call Lot out of the city. And then the angel had to put Lot because Lot was not ready to give up what he considered was too precious. And the angels dragged him out of the city. But his wife looked behind and she became a pillar of salt. I urge us, when we step out of Babylon, when we step out of confusion, when we step out of wickedness, don't look behind not us at because all. Come on. we will become pillars of salt. Oh, we yes. will become immobile. We yes, will not be able to do what God wants us to do. Amen. If we keep on looking behind us yeah. and considering the weight of sin that was upon us, we will never be able to work for the Lord. Amen. So let us put aside the weight of sin. God rain the fire, the Bible says. Rain fire and brimstone upon the city of Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities, sorry, of Sodom and Gomorrah, they were destroyed, never to be raised up again. Even to this day, nobody lives anywhere near Sodom and Gomorrah. It is a warning to us today Amen. that God will destroy. Amen. Yes, so I don't want you to believe that you can just have your own sweet way all the days of your life. There is coming a time of reckoning. Those who will escape that time of reckoning, those who will inherit the kingdom of God and become citizens of God's kingdom. And so I am happy for those who will receive into church. They will be given their certificates, their, their official church membership certificates. But friends, your names must be recorded. In Come on, God's that's the word. That's Do you know that there's a book of life? Yes. Yes, there's a book of life. And if your name is recorded on that book, on the day of judgment, 
on the day of judgment, nobody can stop you from entering the kingdom not of God. Soul. Not the devil from out of hell. No. Not your cousin, not your uncle, your brother, or your sister. Nobody can keep you out of the kingdom of God. What a day that's going to be. Amen. My heart is already rejoicing I tell you. to know that there is coming a day when, when things will yes. change, when wickedness will be put Amen. aside and the righteousness of God will cover the earth Amen. even as waters cover the sea. Oh, yes. Listen to God's servant, my friend, today. As I talk about character, character, what is character and the law of God? Character is more important than reputation. Mm. Reputation is what men and women think of us. Mm. But character is what God and angels what? know about us. Amen. So when we close our doors, when we draw our curtain, when we pull our sheet, God knows what's going on behind the door, yeah. behind the curtain, mm -hmm. and under the sheet. You can't hide from God. Amen. That's the and word you today. you might have a reputation your character is in the dirt. Oh, yes. So you're wearing a pretty shirt. Hey. But your character is in the dirt. Master. Wearing a pretty dress. Help us, Jesus. Wearing a pretty dress. Mm. But you need to step up. Amen. That's the your word character today. is important. Amen. You know what Solomon said? Let us hear the conclusion of, of the, the whole matter. matter. Fear God. Give glory to and him. keep his commandments. Yeah. Oh. For this is what? No, the you whole duty of, of man. man. What did I say the whole duty of man is? Fear God. God. And keep, keep his commandments. For that is the whole duty of man. Now Paul says in Romans, Wherefore the law of God is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. You want a good character? Then you've got to keep the law of God. Amen. A good character can only come from God himself. You have lessons about character building. You have men who are motivational speakers who talk about building a good character to be successful in life. Hmm. But I dare say that having a good character must come from God. Amen. Teach us how to reflect God's goodness. Teach us how to show the love of God to others and we will be well taught. Jesus taught his disciples. He says, Verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, not one jot or one tickle shall in no wise pass from the law till all of the law be fulfilled. And then he says this, You want to enter the kingdom of God. Is there anybody here who does not aspire to be a member of the kingdom of God? Is there anybody like, let's put up your hand. You don't want to be a part of the kingdom of God. Do I see anybody here don't want to be a part of the kingdom of God? Well, if you want to be a part of the kingdom of God, this is what the Bible says. This is what Jesus says. He says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Hold on. Let me just stop right there. When I came in through the door, I heard the church yes. repeating Ten commandments. Exodus chapter 20. One to verse 1 to 17. 17. Yes. And Exodus chapter 20 verse 1 to 17 explains, explicates, and gives us the law of God. Amen. What God requires of us. Amen. And Jesus, when God sent Jesus, he did not send Jesus to end the law or to put aside the law. If you want a good character, this is what Jesus says. He says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, mm. he shall be called least okay. in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. So let us not, if we desire to have good characters, then the commandment is holy, Paul says. It is just. Mm -hmm. It is good. Amen. Don't let people drag you in the dirt, friends. Not at all. Keep the commandments of God. Amen. It is the whole duty, duty of man. man. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 30. Mm -hmm. Keep the law of God. 
That is what we are required to do. If we take the commandment seriously today, as I speak to you, friends, plainly, plain English, I'm not speaking Spanish, I'm not speaking Latin, I'm not speaking Chinese, neither African. I'm speaking plain, plain English, plain and simple counsel, instruction, and advice. If we take the commandment seriously today, as you hear me speak, you and I will become different persons. That is true. By the end of the day. That is true. You did not hear what I said. And on your life. If you take the commandments of God seriously, then immediately you become a different person. So the lies that you used to tell. You won't tell them no more. Tell them no more. Amen. The things that you used to steal. Not steal tell them no more. more. Amen. The adultery that you used to commit. Do it no more. Don't do it anymore. Amen. And you become a different person. Amen. A different person. The commandments change us friends. Oh yes. Did you know that? Yes. 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 And that is why I love the effort of the leaders to bring the commandments to you every Sabbath. Oh, yes. That means if you don't get to the sermon, you hear the sermon. Amen. Already. That's the word. If you don't get to the sermon, you would have heard the sermon. Because that is the greatest sermon that any man can preach. Amen. Keep the commandments of God. You want to have a good character? Hey. Hmm. You know, I don't want for anybody in my community or anybody in my family to say, we don't want to hear from Pastor James. James. <laughs> because he's a liar. I wonder who Pastor. <laughs> Anybody say that about you, friends? No. They don't want to hear from you. I'm speaking to the church. Yes. Because you're a liar. Not good. You lie last month. You lie last year. You lie last week. Not top lie. So me not ask you. No. <laughs> Shut up your mouth. Mm. For one second. Because awesome. you are a liar. Mm. You know why you're not from me. I am talking about character. Yes. Those who have good characters are not liars. Mm -mm. Why? Because you keep the law of God. Amen. You see how important it is? So while Jesus came to save us and his mercy extends to us, he says, listen, you keep the commandments of God. That is what God wants from you. Amen. Jesus said it. Jesus said it. And, 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 and look, the first four commandments of God. speak to us about the love of God. Those Amen. that have no other, other gods before, before me. Which man here have a woman? Which man here has a wife that you want to put another man before you? Hey! Nobody. Put up your hand. <laughs> is there a woman here that wants a man? Or is there a woman here that would want her man to have another woman? Not at all. In the Sister name Ingrid. of Jesus. Not at all. Cut that out. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> no one sharing like this, oh pastor. You at the back over there? <laughs> no? You want your man to have a, a woman? No. No one share. No. Mm -mm. And that's why God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before, before me. me. Jealous God. Serve me yes. with all of your intelligence. Amen. So, yes, you are working with separate. Mm -hmm. You're working with separate. Separate paying you good money. And so, if you're supposed to come to church, Sabbath, what separate say, you have to come to come to work Saturday. What will you choose? What What is your choice? Yeah, that is it. So you're going to choose separate. Not that time. Separate giving you money. Hey. But God promise eternal life. Amen. God promise eternal life. Yes. You cannot buy eternal life. With Not money. at all. And he will provide oh, another church, job. I just talk to you. Simply yes, man. In talk English, to us. Spanish, mm. not Chinese. Mm. God called us to obey. He says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So if I go to work with Sephard, then it means that Sephard is my God. Oh, yes. And by the way, Sephard is in big trouble. Mm. 
20 other of the employees thief in the company's money. So even though they're working from Monday to Saturday, they yes, still have thief. Mercy, man. Because they want more money. The more you can never be the answer, the more you have is the more you want. Turn to God before it Hallelujah. is too Amen. To God first. Yes. In all that you do. Amen. If you have a decision to make, consult God. Ask God, what yes. shall I do? But most times you don't have to ask God. Nothing. Hey. Nothing you don't have to ask God because God don't write it in his Amen. He knows what you want. So if the boss calls you for work, Sabbath, no, listen, I'm not telling everybody to do this. It depends on your faith level and where you are at this time. So I'm not saying you are a visitor, you come to church and you work Sabbath. I'm not saying to leave your work, you friends. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that that is where God wants you to be. So you will get there. You will get there. So the first four commandments, I was telling you about them. They talk about the love of God, loyalty to God, to develop a character. Mm -hmm. And to have, to have a good character before God. You must make things and worship them. Sometimes you work off our hands. You're an artist or you're a good tradesman. And sometimes you lay, you lay some blocks and the blocks so straight that hey. you spend hours looking at the block. Hey. And me do that, you know. Yes, sir. It reminds hey. me of Nebuchadnezzar when hey. you go out of the city of yeah. Babylon. It's, it's me, Nebuchadnezzar, who built the city. Great city. And immediately the Bible says that God turned him on his, his Turn animal. He went down on his hands and his knees mm. and he began to eat grass. Grass, my God. Give all praises to God. Give glory to Amen. God. Amen. You Amen. can do something Hallelujah. and you want to develop your character, serve God Amen. First. Oh, yes. God always comes first. Amen. Right? I don't want to stay long talking to you, but you must understand that keeping God's commandment is very important. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know, we like to say that we are wise. You're fool, fool. Mm. Listen to me. Mm. Me know. I have been there. I have done that. Hey, that fish go water, water, man. Come back hey, and hey. tell you. Listen to me, fish. Yes, pastor. All of us claim that we have wisdom, but we are foolish in the eyes of God. Amen. Because God knows everything. Amen. You know, it. I used to pastor this church in Kentucky. And for you to go up to Kentucky, Ella Kevin, you have to climb a very steep hill. I don't know if you know that hill. When you go to cave and you reach a cave intersection and you turn up that hill, you just start going up, up, up. Mm. And so you look out, the sea is right in front of you because you know cave is right by the mm. sea. So as you look out from the sea, you can see a certain distance. But as you go up, you start to further out the sea. And it's like the sea rising with you. The further up you go, is the higher the sea go. So I used to have a Bible worker with me and she used to say, why God would he go the sea high <laughs> and God stop the sea from coming on the land. Mm. But the higher up you go, it's the higher, it's that like the sea come to your eye level. And you see further out, you begin to see some, some, oh. some fishermen out at sea. You begin to see some oil tanker way out at sea. Yeah. And as you reach to the pinnacle of the hill, there is hardly anything out there on the Caribbean Sea. That you cannot see right here from Kentucky on a Amen. very clear day. Amen. So we are down at the bottom of the hill. Mm. And we are looking out and saying that we know everything. But God is up there seeing yes. everything. I tell you. If you want to know the future, check with God. Amen. If you want to know what is happening, check with God. Amen. Because he's in the higher heights. God's dwelling place is beyond our own realms of imagination. God is great. And that is why he gives us commandments to keep. Amen. And some of these commandments, we must not question them. We must not question them. He says, do them. Yes. Just do them. And things will be good with you. Amen. You will prosper. Your family will prosper. Amen. Your business will prosper. If you keep the commandments of God, Amen. remember that you are saved by God's mercy and His grace Amen. that was extended to us through Jesus Christ. But you are saved to keep the commandments of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, how I love thy law, David said. It is my meditation all the day. 
Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies. I have more understanding than my teachers. For thy testimonies are my meditation. When you teach your children to keep the commandments of God, and they don't lie, and when they go to school, they don't teach right. other children things. Yes, they don't have pencil. And, pencil. And, pen. yeah. and if somebody left anything on their desk, they will take it and say, Who leave this at my right, desk? They don't right. push it in their pocket. Right. And you don't see them come home with all four or five rubber yes. or somebody else exercise book. Yes. That is the greatest thing. Amen. No matter how they are bright. That school, is true. If they are dishonest, they are not going to reach anyway. Not at all. Because this lady was working with this company that defraud um, Usain Bolt. Yeah. Uh, millions of dollars. Yeah. Very bright, bright, intelligent lady. But she chose to ignore the law of God. Yes, honest. And teach people money. Mm, mercy. So the law of God is important. It makes you wise. So no matter how bright you are, you can end up in prison. Oh yes, definitely. Keeping God's law, no matter where you are, no matter where you work, what your occupation is, as a prime minister, look at President Trump. He's been brought before a court of law to be tried because of his dishonesty. He's the president of the greatest nation in the world. But if he had kept God's law, he would be okay. God's law. Very, very important. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto I will have to really just cut this sermon right in mercy. I call it our character is what we do when people are not looking. Yes, come on. That's it, sir. Amen. Sometimes we think the thing is right because we get away. Yes. Hey. Hear me, church. Hey. Sometimes you do the wrong and you get away with it. So you say, thank you, Jesus. Nobody will find out. Hey. Thank but you, God Lord. Said, they never see me. God see thank you, me. Lord. They move over there so no one knows that they didn't do that. Mm. But it is still wrong. Yes. In the eyes of God. It's written down in so heaven. So not because you get away with it. And not because you go to court and you have a smart lawyer. And you have enough money in your pocket yes, to be a judge. Come on. And you're not, that does not make it right. Amen. Hmm. Does not make it right. Ah, yes, sir. What you do behind closed doors is your character. when nobody is looking, is your character. that is what you will be judged on. Oh, yes. Because that time you try to get away with anything and Jesus. everything. Just think about it. When people not looking, who are you? Hmm. What do you do? Hmm. When the light switch flick off yes. and the covers draw, yes. what do you do? Yes, sir. That is your character. Yes. Your reputation is different. Because you put on good clothes, you mm. look good, you try to book your have good work. Hey. But your character is nothing. Mercy dirt. God. We are in good shirt, but you are mixed up in the dirt. Help us, Jesus. Doing the right thing when nobody is looking. Mm -hmm. God sees the heart. Yes. Quarter to one. God looks at the heart. And even though you're close, you might have a, a coat of many colors like Joe's. Yes, sir. Because Jacob gave him a coat of many colors. Yes. But the good thing about Joseph was that Joseph he had, had good character. Color. Yes. But even though you might wear a coat of yellow, pink, blue, orange, mauve, <laughs> and what the other colors are, yes. all of us blood is still the same color. Same red. Your blood red. Yes. And even though your skin black, and your skin white, all that we have red, red blood. blood. That is what God sees. God sees beyond the outward appearance, and God look at the heart. Amen. God is not looking at the garment. Not at all. God is looking at the heart. Amen. Do good, my friends. Yes. Keep the commandments of God. Amen. Also, the commandment is just. It is holy. And it, it is, is good. good. Amen. You want to hear anything else? No. No Spanish. No Chinese. No African. No French. Plain English. The commandments of God must be kept. Amen. Those who enter the kingdom of God and become citizens of God, whose names are written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, 
are those who keep the commandments of God mm. and have the faith of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Church, you are the, the word of God before it is too late. Amen. Breaking the commandments of God will lead you straight into hell. That is true. And you know it. That's yeah. the thing about it. You know it, but you still continue to do it because you get away with it. Hey. You see, if somebody catch you, hey. you better feel. Oh my God. You better feel when people catch you. Just remember, sir, Jesus when they Jesus catch you, you get exposed. Yes, him. You get exposed and you realize that you have to change your ways. Shame. Because people know your wrong words. Shame. Lord and not shame. Lord, but he broke me. Hard work. Shame and not Lord, but he broke me. And let me tell you how you can know when people are genuine and have character. When hard work is to be done. The good people. They will turn up on time. Yes. Yes, when hard work is to be done. Mm. But make you have something to give it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Free. Yeah. Make you have something to give it. Some nice things. Then eh? who first have a turn? The one day when I want to do nothing. Lazy people. <laughs> but have hard work to do. <laughs> turn up. Yes. Those who turn up on time are the genuine ones. Yeah. And those who, when they come, they don't just turn up, but they turn up their sleep. Mm -hmm. And they're the, ready to work. Yes, sir. Ready to work. They don't just turn up in, if he said that. Supervised. And that, and that. My they supervised man. And mm -hmm. they're ready to work. <laughs> Those people have character. Some figgy others. But some of them, they don't turn up their sleep. Some of them turn up their nose. Oh, my God. And they say, me not do this. And me not do that. <laughs> like that, eh? No. <laughs> And some of them, they don't turn up at all when it comes to hard work. Then come if you're giving away stuff, you're sure that they're going to turn up. Character better than reputation. Amen. You can have reputation when you don't have character. Bad character. A lot of good men have reputation. You remember Kappa? No, sir. Nobody remember Kappa. No, no, name, sir. You, you, you remember Trinity? Yes. You don't know them. Ah, not the bad man that used to have reputation. Famous. Okay. And, and in Grange, you have some areas that are bad areas. Those are the areas that make the news. But the good areas, nobody don't hear about them. But God marked them. Yes. And when he sent Jesus, and Jesus come with his angel, he's going to go to the good places and take the good people. Well, those with the bad, the bad reputation and the guns and whatever they choose to live over, they choose, God is going to lead them in their disaster. <coughs> he says, I will laugh at them. Laugh at their religion. calamity. Yes, he will laugh at their calamity. So, time has gone from us. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Wait on the Lord, we have good courage. And he Don't look at what is going on for the week. Just trust. In God. Amen. Then he blesses people who are commandment keepers who continue to have faith in Jesus Christ. May God deliver you out of bondage, out of sin, out of sickness, out of pain, out of misery. God is able. God can do it. Trust him. Believe in him. Today, it will make a difference. Today, did you hear what I say? Yes. What you do today will make a big difference in your life. Amen. Keep the commandments Amen. of God. Is that your desire today? Oh. Please stand with me. That is your desire to keep the commandments of God. And we're going to say a very short prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your commandments that you have given to us. Your commandments are a delight. They are a lamp unto our feet. They are just and they are good. We thank you for sending Jesus who taught the disciples how to keep the commandments. Lord, we learn how to love you from your commandments. We learn how to love our neighbors. And so help us to be true and to be wise. Help us to accept your advice and your counsel. Lord, help us to do the things that you command us to do. And not do the things that you said that we should not do. Keep us, O oh God, in righteousness. Keep us, O oh God, ever committed to doing your will. Because we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.